Did you know that with just two pins and a piece of string, you can draw a perfect ellipse? All you need to do is stick two pins into a board, these are the foci of the ellipse. Loop a string around them, pull it tight with a pencil, and start tracing a curve. What you get is an exact ellipse. Now here's the magic part, any ray that starts from one focus, and reflects off the curve of the ellipse, will always converge at the other focus. Want proof? Place a laser pointer at one focus, and surround the ellipse's border with mirrors. No matter where you point the beam, the light will always bounce back to the opposite focus. Amazing. Right? This very property was why ancient architects, designed grand halls, churches, and parliaments in elliptical shapes. Someone whispering at one focus, could be heard clearly at the other, because sound waves, like light, reflect and refocus. Now, speaking of clever physics, you might have seen Ren Physics riding a skateboard, powered by nothing but an umbrella and a hairdryer. He blows wind into the umbrella, the umbrella pulls him, and he pulls the board, a simple demonstration of reaction force. Just like a fan or propeller pushes air backward to move forward. But what if you mounted a fan on a boat, and aimed it at the sail of that same boat? Seems logical. But the boat wouldn't move at all. Why? Because the air and the sail are in a closed system. The forward push of the fan is cancelled out by the backward drag of the sail. The correct approach, remove the sail and let the fan push air directly backward. Now the boat moves, the same principle behind the invention of the propeller, which pushes water backward to move ships forward. Oh, and Ren's board, turns out, it's actually an electric skateboard hidden under the umbrella. The hairdryer? Just a clever distraction, a sweet little physics prank. Now, here's a brain teaser for you. Imagine you wrap a rope around the earth. Then you lift it evenly 30 centimeters above the ground all the way around. How much extra rope would you need? The answer is surprising, only about 188 centimeters. Yes, just 1.88 meters more. No matter how big the earth is. Why? Because circumference equals by times diameter. So increasing the radius by 30 centimeters means the circumference increases by 2 pi times 30 centimeters 188 centimeters. It's the same for earth or a basketball, same height same added length. Math is magical. And finally, here's a counterintuitive physics phenomenon. Why does a helium balloon inside a car float backwards when you slam the brakes? When you brake hard, everything in the car lurches forward due to inertia, including the air. That creates higher air pressure at the front of the car. The balloon, being lighter than air, gets pushed backward toward the lower pressure zone. Try it with a bottle of water and a ping pong ball. Push the bottle forward, the water rushes to the back, and the ball floats forward. Same concept. A perfect example of how physics can turn our intuition upside down.